it's a new day and welcome back to my channel this is going to be a week in my life a very interesting summer week yeah we have a lot going on right now and i wanted to document it bring you guys along i have some cooking like always preparing for a cabin trip this weekend we are doing some house renovations do you guys ever feel like you're just hemorrhaging money? Last Thursday, Josh was home from work, working on ripping out the bathroom and the bedroom and just like demoing everything. So he's up there, the plumber comes, so his truck is in the driveway. Josh's trailer and truck are in the driveway. The plumber's installing pipes and stuff. Then in comes the appliance guys. Two guys were installing a new fridge for us um, because thankfully that wasn't costing us money. It was under warranty. It was a dud of a fridge. And finally they just called it quits and they're like, we're just gonna replace your fridge. It's under warranty yet so that was getting installed too anyway then I pull in with the kids because I was running errands and stuff and in behind me pulls an Amazon delivery truck and they were delivering some like faucets and stuff for our rental property we're trying to get um, totally renovated and yeah put on the market so I was just like Josh I just see like money literally not, not just dripping but just like pouring out of our wallets I'm like oh my word like because there was there was like four five vehicles in the driveway all doing different stuff it was it was nuts but anyway that's just the stage of life we're in that's why we work hard so we can get things done um, and we're we're not like going crazy on our bathroom it's still a lot of fun and a lot of hard work but um, we're trying to be a little more responsible and yeah just make it nice but not too nice that we're afraid to use it if you know what I mean but anyway this week started out with a small group ladies coffee time we had we got together and just ordered breakfast at griddle and grind I got an iced white chocolate latte and then they had these amazing chipotle style crepes like egg crepes it was really good but i have to confess i was in a really bad mood about going i did not feel like it i was like i have so much to do i don't have time to sit around and relax at a coffee shop on a tuesday morning um my sister was over with the kids she's getting some housework done for me and watching them before she heads off to her she does like in-home care so she has to be at her next job at like lunchtime but it was so good like I walked in with a bad attitude and then <laughs> we were sharing our favorite verses and like just how our weeks are going and stuff and I feel like it was a really edifying conversation like it wasn't just a bunch of fluff um and it was just what I needed so God knew he worked in spite of my bad attitude and yeah I feel like we are all a lot closer and yeah it just felt good to to commiserate or to um yeah, I felt like we edified each other. Is that is that the right word? Anyway, so yeah, now I am sitting out here at our flooring store, Nalt's Flooring. Um, I want to go in to look at my floor sample I picked out for the bedroom bathroom so that I can see what color I want to paint our built-in. It's a vanity, but it's like a built-in that an Amish guy is making for us. And I want to get the color right. If I go too gray, I don't want gray. And I want a neutral color, like kind of like a putty concrete kind of look but i don't want to go too gray or to clash with the floors i don't want to go too brown yeah it just has to be that sweet spot yeah, i'm gonna run in and look at that and then i have to stop in at the paint store and return the paint samples here so yeah it's gonna be a quite the morning tomorrow i'm gonna be hanging out at my mom's house picking green beans i'll show you some of the farm where i grew up and we'll just have a nice homesteading day tomorrow i'm glad you guys are here and that you're along for the ride starting it out with a chatty chat this morning right but let's get going <sighs>
of got away from me a little bit. We went to the library and finished the kids' like summer reading program. All three kids are in the four and under read aloud program, and they all got to pick out a little prize. And I did get a stack of coupons. Nothing really great. Mostly like free ice cream at different local places. A bounce house is giving out coupons, and a local railroad is giving out. Um, cheaper tickets if you do it. So, I mean, it was worth it, right? I'm gonna be reading to them anyway. And then we got home and it's now raining and it's so cozy. I baked some chocolate chip cookies and then I kind of got stuck on creating a reel for Instagram. I want to do like an introduction type reel so people find my Instagram page, they can see quickly what I'm about. But yeah, anyway, I dressed up this morning because I wanted to look cute to go to the coffee shop and then I just never got changed. And I'm realizing this is actually a really comfy dress. Even though it's long, it's really comfy. Um, and yeah, I, I usually just reserve this for nice occasions, but it's been working great today and I got it on Amazon, so it's a good price. I actually have it in two colors, but I can link it below. I took some fresh cookies up to Josh. He's upstairs um, doing some drywall speckling in our bathroom project. And he's like, oh, look at you being all princessy. I'm like, what, huh? And then after I came downstairs, I realized, oh yeah, probably because I'm wearing a long flowy dress. That's probably why he said it. But anyway, right now I'm making some supper. I'm making kebabs on the grill and I want them to have some time to marinate. Kebabs are so, like, they're a fun way to get vegetables in and they taste so good. I really don't venture out much when it comes to kebab recipes. I have one that I've been using for years. It's our favorite. And I get, like, beef cubes from my mom and I always feel like they're so tough. So kebabs are a great way to use them up. So I've been branching out a little bit on my oils. I am trying to use more coconut oil and like avocado oil and stuff. I've just been reading all kinds of stories about seed oils and vegetable oil and how bad it is for you. Uh, this recipe calls for extra virgin olive oil. And I'm using this Brightland, I'm using their Awake one. It's very, it's very full body and robust, kind of grassy tasting. At least that's what it says online and I agree it does taste like that. Super, super good and it's amazing quality. And I've been cooking with them for a little bit. I have been into like flavored olive oils and balsamics for a while. I hadn't heard of Brightland before, but they did reach out to me and I was like, sure, I'll try this stuff out. And let me tell you, it is so good, like very delicious. And they did give me a promo code for you. So please take advantage of that. I'll put it here on the screen. It's always nice when I can share a favorite with you guys. And then there's also a way for you guys to save some money. I was very excited to work with Brightland because this is the kind of thing I cook with all the time. It's amazing how good quality oil will just like make your recipes pop, even if you're not using all kinds of crazy ingredients and everything. I feel like fresh herbs and a good quality olive oil and any vegetable, pasta salad, kebabs, salads, they're just, it just is so much better. Brightland sources their olive oil from California and it's always made from their latest harvest. I wanted to try out just their basic extra virgin olive oils at first and they're so good and so now I wanna try their garlic and their basil infused one. I leave them displayed on my countertop on one of my Fox Sparrow concrete trivet trays and I think it looks so pretty functional and kind of decor at the same time. But yeah, check out Brightland if you have not heard of them. I love their packaging and stuff too. It's just fun to have them displayed on my counter. I can reach for them at any time. They do sell the spouts on their website, but I just picked up a pack of three rose gold ones from Amazon and I put them on and so it's really easy for drizzling. When I pick out my sponsors for my videos, I try to make sure that they align with my channel, which this one for sure does. And I also like to make sure it's something that you guys would probably wanna use too. And I definitely think that if you wanna get your hands on some good quality olive oil, Brightland is what you're looking for. Oh, grr. So I was ready to start skewering all the kebabs together and I cannot find my kebab skewers anywhere. I feel like the kids are probably playing with them. I don't know, I've been looking everywhere. So I called Josh, he said he'll grab some. He's on his way back home. He's picking up some stuff for the bathroom upstairs, but you can use this marinade to marinate your meat and vegetables for like one to three hours. So instead of three hours, it's probably gonna be more like one. But yeah, he should be home in a minute and then Ivani will probably be up for her nap and I'll let her help me skewer everything together and I'll let you know how these turn out. Can you guys hear that? It is pouring. I almost could cry seeing the rain come down. Like we needed it so much. I mean, not near as much as some states, but I'm just always so thankful for rain. Um, maybe not when I have an event planned outdoors, but yeah. Wow. Music to my ears. What a cozy afternoon. What country were you learning about? Australia. Australia? And Sandy said he was born there. He was born there. What kind of animal was Sandy? I don't know. Was he a kangaroo? 
Or a wallaby? I guess he was a kangaroo. <gasps> Look who's standing up! Look who poured himself up! Oh my. So Ivani spilled some oil, and so she's learning how to clean up her messes. Right, Bonnie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Get in all those lines. That's called grout. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay, I just pulled the Skewers off the grill, they smell amazing. Those pe bell peppers smell so good. Anyway, I wanted to taste this here. We are having leftover mac and cheese from this weekend. We had a cookout and I brought baked mac and cheese. If you ask me, Cavatappi makes the best mac and cheese. Mmm, and this actually tastes better. It tastes better a day later. I don't know how that works, but yeah. I wanna try a piece of this meat here and maybe a mushroom. See if I can taste the, ooh. I can taste the marinade. Mmm. It's like peppery and garlicky. Like I said, I made this so many times. Um, you can do whatever vegetables you want. A lot of people like zucchini. I don't like zucchini at all. And I prefer grape tomatoes, but I just wanted to use what I had there. Also, mushrooms are the best. Mmm. Wow. I always forget how good it is right off the grill. I both love and hate tasting foods with you because <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. Like I can't share it with you. Trust me, this is so good. And I use good quality olive oil and fresh ingredients. So very, very good. Check out the link down below. I'll put it in the description box and that's gonna give you 10% off with Brightland. Anyway, I'm gonna call the kids and Josh in for supper and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the farm. So I'm out here in the very sunny garden. I probably should have started three hours earlier, but we had some errands to run, but I'm here now. I have one row to pick. I don't know if it's gonna take me 20 minutes or it's gonna take me an hour. It's hard to say, but mom is gonna be helping me watch the children and do the beans and all that. And then we're gonna reward ourselves if we get done in time. We might go swimming. They have a pool behind their chicken house, so we'll see if it happens. What's wrong, Bonnie? She's gonna back it up. Woo, there she goes. Okay, Miller's taking a nap, so I better get moving while I can. <laughs> So you guys remember this deck that Josh was putting up this spring for my parents? Or he was repairing it and basically it's a brand new deck. My mom finally has it set up, styled. She has a little seating area over here. Just looks like a nice little place to drink your coffee in the morning. She just has some planters out. And I told her she needs to put some trees out here but she's like, I don't want nothing that can blow away in the wind because it gets really windy up here. So I was like, yeah, that's probably smart. This is an addition right here. They built that on when I was 13, but the whole deck is new. She said she got the patio stuff, um, like the whole set here from Lowe's. Another two chairs over there. And I forgot this place existed, but she said this rug is from the Christmas tree shops. I totally forgot about that place. And the candle too, which is a citronella candle, you know, to keep away the bugs and all. But yeah, isn't this the most beautiful view? Way down there, you can see my grandma's house. We used to run down through this field every 
you know, a couple times a week to give grandma stuff or, you know, run errands or messages. <laughs> Farm always makes me feel so nostalgic. But right down there is where I was picking green beans earlier. I feel like July is the best time of year for gardens. They just look great. And then I feel like it's all downhill from there, at least for my garden. I feel like the busyness of summer just starts catching up with you and there's like weeds and rotting vegetables to deal with. <gasps> Mom's garden still looks nice. I don't know, mine's, I can already see it starting to, <laughs> I need to put it to the front burner and not have it on the back burner, you know? Okay, the green bean factory is officially in session. <laughs> I don't know how much we have yet. We'll have to wait and see till the end. But we are just, we're trying a new method actually. It was mom's idea. We just have some water in the bottom of her steamer here. This is what she uses for grape juice. And then we're just gonna steam them for four minutes till they turn bright green and you know, just blanch them. And then we just flash, cool them down over here, I guess. How's it going, Bonnie? Good. You getting a lot done? We used to properly blanch them, you know, by covering them completely with boiling water and everything, but it takes so long for the water to boil. It's so heavy to move around. Um, so yeah, mom was doing this this year and it worked great. So I was like, by all means, let's do that too. So we're actually ending them first and then we'll wash them and then we will steam them. But I feel like if you snap the ends off first, they snap off so much easier. You really don't need a knife. I don't know, Ivani just feels like a big kid, I guess, with your no, knife. I don't want this one. <laughs> I don't want this spoon. You don't want that bowl? That's the ends. Put the ends in there. If you guys do green beans, let me know. Do you cut them? Like that's how I did for years and years. And lately I've just been doing them long because then I like to saute them in a pan with butter or in the air fryer. And they're just really nice when they're in the long pieces, kind of like restaurant style. But I've only recently started doing that. So I don't like French green beans. I feel like they're kind of soggy, but whatever. I think they used to be all the rage in the 90s, right? <laughs> You were fancy if you fridged your green beans, yeah. So my little sister Shandon made this homemade French bread from Hope's Table, and this sandwich means business. <laughs> we're gonna put avocado on it if you want, pickles, and then we're drizzling um, the Brightland olive oil all over everything. Makes it twice as good. Oregano, salt and pepper, all the works. You hungry, children? You excited? I'm yeah. not hungry. You're not hungry? Are you excited to go to the meadow and stomp in the creek? Yeah. Yeah. John Deere by this shot here. <laughs> what do you think, Miller? Uh, green tractors or orange tractors? <laughs> I like green tractors best. Okay, we just got home and I bagged up all the green beans. <laughs> 2022 two. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, but yeah, I got about 15 quarts, which I'm very happy with. That was out of just one row. So I think if I go back and pick uh, one more time, that'll be about 30 packs, and I think that'll be enough for the year. I was happy. 
Um, they're nice and young. I like that. Very tender and not tough and gnarly. You know how they get sometimes. Yeah. Packets for supper, they were so good. I put fresh rosemary and parsley on, cheese. Um, yeah, delicious. Josh came home and did the mowing as fast as he could. I'm standing in our master bathroom. It could not look worse, but we're past the demo stage and now he's onto his standing, right? Is that what you're doing? Yep. Drywall putty and stuff. Look at this, guys. Marry yourself a carpenter and then you can totally design whatever you want. <laughs> we're gonna have two big mirrors on this wall. And then we're gonna have two little niches in the middle here so we can put things in there and just soften things up, make it a little less harsh. Um, yeah, just make it feel a little more homey, use it as a like shelf, and then there's gonna be a built-in the whole way across here. So, so yeah, look for that in an upcoming video. It's gonna take about a month to get everything done. And this is our bedroom currently. Oh my word, guys. We literally sleep in this bed here, and then the rest of our home looks like this. I have no words. But the funny thing is, when we took down the dark brown wooden trim around all the windows and stuff, I stopped hating the wall color quite so much. Like, it's not bad. It's like a taupey skin color, maybe. We are repainting everything anyway, but it's not gonna get painted much different. It really isn't. All the doors are off too. Here they are propped up here. They're gonna get painted by our painters as well next week. But anyway, Josh is back to sanding, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, well, I am anything but camera ready at the moment. I have not picked up the camera all day. It has been one of those um, office days. I had my cousin come over this morning. She made baked oatmeal and then did a bunch of cleaning around the house and just watched the kids so I could get a bunch of editing done. And I'm almost finished. I edited all nap time as well. I just threw leftover chicken and potatoes from our backyard barbecue that we had last week. If you did not watch that video, do so. It's, it's the one I posted just before this one and I take you around on a whole day of trying to host a huge party. It was quite an event. <laughs> anyway, definitely don't miss that one. But I just threw that in the oven and it's smelling really good. I'm gonna throw some green beans in the air fryer yet. They are really good that way. I just drizzled them in olive oil, use some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, Parmesan cheese. Yeah, you can really do whatever you want. I'll put the link to the recipe that I like to do down below. And I just put them in the air fryer and toss them like about every five minutes until they are nice and kind of crispy. I do them kind of like a grilled asparagus texture. So yeah, super delicious. So we're just gonna do that for a quick supper. I'm gonna finish up my editing. And so once I get that video turned in tonight, I can turn my attention to getting ready for a cabin weekend coming up. So tomorrow I'll have to do the grocery shopping and the packing and I have a little bit of food to prepare. We're on for breakfast, so a lot of the stuff happens last minute up at the cabin, but I still wanna get like some ground sausage browned up and all that kind of thing. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. I will see you then. farmer's market this morning already and I just we're headed to the cabin this afternoon if we can get everything together I have some food to prep and things like that but yeah we're gonna try to rush around and get it done we went to the farmer's market this morning the reason for going was to pick up donut holes for our breakfast we're in charge of tomorrow and so I knew that Sunnyside pastries has the best so we went there 
And then I also wanted to find some coffee. I have to run to Walmart for my groceries yet today. I hate saving this for the day of camping, but what are you gonna do? I had no time last night. I'm going to Walmart because I want Chick-fil-A sauce and a couple different things that you can only get there. And I wanna get some water guns and water things for the cabin and it's just gonna be a one-stop shop. So Walmart it is, but they don't have good coffee there. So I also wanted to get some good coffee beans, whole beans and ground ones. And so I did find those. And then I also picked up, the kids were hungry. I'd never take the kids to the farmer's market before breakfast. I was thought we could quickly get there and get back and eat our baked oatmeal when we got home again while my mother's napping. Um, but yeah, they were quite cranky, so now I know better than to just feed them milk for breakfast and head off. Um, but yeah, I also bought some turkey sticks for them to try um, and just eat them as we walked around. It was so cute. As soon as Miller saw that I, they were getting food, he started fussing. But the whole time he didn't make a peep. He just looked around with his big blue eyes. Um, yeah, it was fun. But anyway, now that we're home, while Miller's taking his little nap, I'm going to try to pack all of our clothes while um, he's sleeping. And then we're going to feed him and head off to Walmart, do all that stuff. And when we get back, I have some food prep to do. I'm going to be making a midnight snack for... I guess I had the ladies in mind when I made this, but I guess anybody can have it. Um, you know how when you're staying up late. Anyway, I have a good food idea. I made it several times before and I wanna make it with you guys. So it's kind of the agenda for today. We wanna to leave at nap time so that we're not getting up there super late. But yeah, I'm gonna to have to keep stepping if I wanna get everything done. <laughs> I just threw together a little midnight snack for, I say midnight, but you know how it is. I feel like when you're at the cabin, you eat just all kinds of snacky stuff all the time. And I'm starting to try to think ahead and bring along food that's more than just like chips and candy and stuff. So I made this, it's really pretty. It's a marinated olive cheese ring. And I used the Brightland olive oil and balsamic vinegar, garlic, fresh herb. And I just drizzled that all over the top of Kalamata olives and green olives with the pimentos in. I did not have any pimentos to sprinkle on the top like they asked for. So I just bought the roasted red peppers and diced them up. And then I Googled online and said that's basically the same thing anyway. So that was smart. But yeah, the cheese ring itself is just extra sharp cheddar cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese, and then um, spicy hard salami rounds I sliced in half. And yeah, it's so pretty. I feel like this would actually be perfect for a Christmas party where you're supposed to bring an appetizer because it's so colorful and impressive looking. And it is even kind of Christmas colors. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to take it up and just pull it out later in the evening. I did toast a French baguette 
and I just threw in, I know, very attractive, right? But yeah, you can serve this along with the olive and cheese ring, kind of just like dip. It's so delicious. The balsamic vinegar and the olive oil, so good. It's like salty and sour at the same time, so I'm sure my pregnant friends that are along will appreciate that. But yeah, I'm just gonna cover it up with some plastic wrap now and throw it in my cooler. And then we are gonna hit the road. We had quite the day today. Um, I mean, everything went fine. It was just really busy. Never save your grocery shopping for the day of the trip. I think I learned that the hard way a little bit. I just feel like I was was rushing around, but now I feel like I can truly enjoy my relaxing drive up and hopefully relaxing, right? The kids will probably all take naps, so that'll be great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for following along on these days in my life, and I appreciate so much that you guys are here. Check out Brightland. I can't wait to try some of their flavored olive oils, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I think we're gonna hit the road, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Are you ready to go to the <laughs> He looks proud of himself. It's a new little flyer's onesie. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, time to go.